A new hero type on the same banner as an Ascended, is it? Meh, that's nothing compared to how surprised I was to see Three Hopes characters actually showing up in Heroes. I figured there was some sort of licensing issue with Koei Tecmo, which is why none of the characters from the first Warriors game have ever appeared in Heroes, but apparently that's not the case here. The lineup does undermine the novelty a bit, though, as the only character here who's truly original to Hopes is Shez. This banner also completely blew my predictions for 2022's Three Houses banners out of the water, both because it's been a full year since the last one, and because Intelligence Systems seems to have finally gotten tired of cobbling together banners with random assortments of students. I'd say that this is a good sign that Hero seems to be moving on from its excess of Three Houses content, since aside from this, the game's only gotten half a summer banner along with a few odds and ends this year. But the prospect of Ascended Heroes drawn from Three Hopes only extends the theoretical longevity of this setting even further. Even in 2023, when Fire Emblem Engage is going to be the hot new thing that will probably sweep Choose Your Legends and get a new banner every other month, will we ever fully escape Fodlin and its abundance of pre-made alts? On the subject of Engage, I do have thoughts on the game and what it may mean for the near future of the franchise, particularly where Heroes is concerned, because Engage looks to be bringing the Heroes design philosophy to mainline Fire Emblem. I want a little more time to think on that though, so expect a small piece from me on the reveal trailer next week or next weekend. Until then, like the video, subscribe to my channel for more Fire Emblem content, and tell me what you think of this new Heroes banner. Just two more left in Book 6, and I'll be back next month to see what strange way IS chooses to surprise me that time. Au revoir!